What up, guys? Right, here's another gig review. Um, it's been a while since I've been to a proper gig, so here's another one for you. This time it's the um, tour that was going across. Um, I think it was Europe. I think it was Europe. Um, of Vale of Maya, and it's their Eclipse European tour. Uh, I've been looking forward to this for a while. Um, uh, I, did, I don't think I mentioned it in my updates, and, well, any of my updates and purchases, but I did give me a ticket though. There it is, at the O2 Academy. It was in the small room, surprisingly, on the Saturday, the 5th of May, 2012. Right, let's go through the bands and I'll show the merch as I go through them. Now, first band that was on was a band called Structures. Now, um, I'd listened to Structures a few times on on YouTube, who were again promoted from a few local bands that were going to see them, and I really liked the sound of them, so I was really looking forward to hearing from them. So I went went to the gig, they opened up, and I was mind blown. I was literally mind blown. It was very, very heavy, solid performance. Um, the the were vocalist kind of reminded us a bit of um like a cross between I declare war and White Chapel, um and I really really like that. He had a very good very good tone to his voice and sounded very fucking brutal. Um, I also met the singer of the band. I'll just quickly show you the picture. There you go. Um, he was very, very good, and yeah, I did get some merch from them. I only got a CD of them because I didn't really have a lot of money with us, but I wanted to get a CD of these, so I did. And I got their latest album, Divided By. I'm not joking, over the past two days since the gig, I've been listening to this pretty much, like, non-stop. It's just such a good, heavy album, and I really enjoy it. Yeah, I'll be doing a CD review of this very soon, but we'll have to see what happens. You also got a sticker free of it of the album artwork. Sumerian Records, who got under, did have got a few stickers in a few albums, but um, I hadn't seen any with with the uh, the last time I seen it was with the uh, uh, after the burial album. So I was really pleased with that. Then. Um, when I was talking to the vocalist, he, I said, "You better come back." And just before I was walking away, he said, "Oh, we'll definitely be back. We'll be back in November on the main stage." I was like, "You kidding me?" Oh, I can't wait to see you. Uh, I said, "Who he was playing with?" And he said, "He doesn't. Well, he knows, but he's not allowed to tell anyone." So, hmm. and for some reason, because it was a sort of a gent gig, um, I said. Periphery, and he said, "No, bigger." And I was like, "Who's bigger than Periphery?" So it's been going around in my head. There's been a few, um, a few myths have been making predictions and stuff like that. But I'm really excited if they do come back. So I'll see them again. So we'll be happy for that. Uh, next on the list was uh, what we call volumes. Now I wasn't, if I'm going to be honest, I wasn't really expecting much from them. I'd listened to one of the tracks from their newest album, and it wasn't really my cup of tea. It just I didn't really enjoy it that much. But then um, when I saw them live, I was like, "Wow, this is this is actually pretty good." The, ha the strange thing is, I had two vocalists. Um, it wasn't like a backup vocalist or, or anything like that. It was it was like Despised Icon, two main vocalists. So. Uh, these were, I think these were very, very good. They were very progressive, uh, with the tone of every instrument you could hear, very much a lot of definition with the, with the instruments live, and that's what I like to hear. Um, when I got back from the gig, I searched up a few tracks on YouTube, and I, I didn't end, end, end up getting the album, as I said, I didn't have a lot of money for this gig. So, 
I just took took a chance and just left it, and I'm going to be ordering the album probably as soon as possible because that some of the tracks I've really enjoyed from the album. So yeah, that could be. I mean, one of me later updates and purchases. You never know. But they were very good live. Would really recommend to see them. Uh, next up was Viljara. Now Viljara was along the same lines as Volumes. I wasn't really planning like to much from them, but um, the thing was, me a few of me mates were at the gig and they said, "Oh, they're amazing! They're so um, progressive, they're so technical, so heavy, and all this stuff." And when I saw the artworks for their their debut album, I can't remember what it's called. Um, I wasn't really expecting much, and then when when they came on, I was like, "This is some good shit." And I I was really enjoying their performance. They had, same as volumes. I had two vocalists, but there was six members of them on stage, whereas volumes only had five. They only had one guitarist. But they really did remind us of Meshuggah. Um, they were very technical. They had some very slow, mellow. Parts and then all of a sudden, poof, came over very, very, um, very gently, heavy riffage, um, and I really liked it. Same story as volumes, I didn't get any merch from them, but I really regret um, spending some of the money that I did, and I wish I'd kept some to get like a CD of them and all that, so yeah. But they were very good bands, and I also met the, uh, who was it? The growl vocalist. There was one of them was more of a, um, like like a metalcore sort of, um, sort of singer like screamer, and the other one was more of a growler. And I met the growler. He he was a pretty awesome dude. And here's a picture. Very cool. Um, it took a few attempts to hit that picture for some reason. Hmm. It was it was on me iPhone, which is on charge, so yeah, whatever. Um, but I really recommend you check out them. I was blown away by them. Um, probably, um, they blew me mind the most from the gig. But that's just my opinion. Next up on the list was um, a bit of an oddball, if you ask me. I, I think, I think there were, there weren't. Like the right band to sort of be there in my opinion, but um, I really w was glad to see them. It's the first time I've seen them, and I absolutely re really enjoyed them. It was Betraying the Martyrs. They were the second headline band. Uh, the new the new vocalist. This is the uh, this was the first time I'd heard them. They got a live live you know situation. I'd never looked up any live videos or nothing. I just heard like music from the new album. Which I got in a, uh, I'll show you in a second. Um, but it was such a good vocalist, very energetic, very, um, very awesome stage presence. Um, from these, especially, I think these had the best stage presence of the night. Um, especially the keyboardist, he was jumping in the crowd, flinging the water and all sorts of stuff. He, they were very energetic, very solid stage presence. Uh, musically, they were very awesome, very tight, and I was, I really enjoyed the drummer as well. He was a very, very precise with his blasts and all that. So, I really recommend you check out them. And also, I got a picture with the singer. He was a pretty awesome dude. He's, I don't think he's French like the rest of the band because they're, they're from Paris, France. I don't think he's French, but um, the other members are French. And I met the um, other members, bar the drummer, for some reason. I, I must have missed them. But all the other members, the two guitarists, the bassist, and the keyboardist. Yeah, I got a picture with all them together. There you go. Yeah, they were pretty awesome dudes. And as I said, I... Got the CD of their new album called Breathing Life. Very heavy album. I will be mentioning more about this um, album in its review. Um, it's a Digipack version, so it's even cooler. Um, and also, 
Um, I didn't get, manage to get structures I wish I had now, but yeah. I got it signed by most of the members, bar the drummer, and one of the coolest things I don't think you'll be able to see. Nope. But it, the bass has put a heart and Ryan in it for some reason. <laughs> Pretty cool. Um, but awesome guys. They were really laughed. They were very energetic. Really, I would love to see them again. I really would. Check it over that side. And then finally, we've got the headline band, Veil of Maya. Now these, I was um, I was most looking forward to hearing structures, but I was, um, second was Veil of Maya, and I was really excited to hear them because I'd heard a few tracks from the new album, which I'll talk about in a minute. I don't know if I showed you, but I don't care. Um, these, um, they've only got one guitarist, um, a bassist, drummer, and a vocalist, obviously. Um, the, they were very, very tight live, and I know how tight the album is from hearing it over Sumerian Records as YouTube. Um, it was, it was just as tight as what it is on the album. I was blown away. The sound, the gent tone from the guitars was just unbelievable. And also, I don't know if the bassist used distorted bass or not, because I, um, I, I wasn't listening out for the bass. I just saw him playing it, but he, I couldn't hear much from that. So, yeah, drummer was just, you just, oh, that was the shot. It was like, I was like, oh, Jesus, imagine. It, it was just phenomenal life. The vocalist was very, very energetic. Um, he was a, he was a really, really good vocalist. He didn't lose it, anything during it. He just kept. It was just a full-on stream of just heaviness, and it was unbelievable. And I did. He after they'd finished, about two minutes later, he came around the corner just to meet the crowd, and I got a picture of him. This one's not as good quality because I don't know if you know if you, you can take a picture from the front as well, but it doesn't come out as good quality. So I just took it there, and here it is. I apologise for the quality about that. But I did get manage to get the CD, the new CD Eclipse. I will be reviewing this because I've been loving this album. Um, I've, since I've been to this gig, I've found a massive love for the the bands that played. So yeah, uh, it's a digipack version as you can see. I didn't get this one signed because I didn't get a chance. But if I'd stayed back, I probably would have got it signed. And I've also got a poster in the tube um, where my development poster was, because that's how I'm keeping them all nice and smooth. Um, from the gig of all the bands, and i uh, putting that on my wall when um, when I move into my new house. Uh, what else was I going to say? Oh, yeah, I, I did get one shirt, because as I said, I didn't really have a lot of money with us. But um, was it? this was the only decent one that had vests. They had a sick, um, uh, like design shirt and shorts and vests and hoodies and all that. But this was the best one, and I'm I'm starting to get a collection of two shirts. So got this one. It's just got the V on the front, but it's a bit more subtle than what I've bought in the past from gigs. But uh, I think it's pretty awesome. And then on the back, which I like, it's got the V of my European tour dates. And if I get it correctly, Newcastle at the bottom. Yep, I was there. So that's cool. So, yeah, very good gig. Really, really enjoyed it. Would love to see all those bands again. Um, any one of the bands, if they ever perform in Newcastle again, I will go and see them. But whatever money I've got, I will spend to go and get, go and see them. Um, if I was to give a rating, I would give it a solid, uh, solid nine. The only problem was um, the amount of beer that got splashed upon us because of all the um, seeing kids jumping all over the shop, and um, one of my uh, one of my friends' his mates um, was standing right next to us, and he had a full beer. And then a picture started, and everyone just went 
poof, straight into each other and just splashed all out. As I was, I was covered on the signs in beer and yeah, it sucked that part. But um, yeah, it was a very energetic gig. I was one of the best um, gigs of this year, and I'm hoping to get some more gigs out there. And I don't know when my next gig review will be, but if it comes, I'll I'll let you know. But very good show. Really recommend if you're going to any of the dates where uh, all these bands are performing. I would really recommend you go. Very very good gig. Anyways, that concludes my gig review. Hope you enjoy it. Plan to do a few more when they come up. So yeah, more CD reviews. And updates and purchases will be up in the next two weeks. So, uh, until then, STAY METAL!